Hey, what's up you guys? My name is Tyler Ruggi. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today is a long awaited video. I don't know why, but I just haven't really been focusing on making videos about my aquarium. It just like, I haven't been doing much with it. It just hasn't been a huge priority of mine. For anyone who hasn't been caught up, I set up my freshwater aquarium last year. It was sent to me by Custom Aquariums. I got a really cool background for it. I set up a really awesome planted tank and I really didn't do much with it after I had it set up. I put in a school of cardinal tetras, which are really, really cool. And I just like didn't really do much with it after that. I was pretty satisfied with the way it looked. I was looking into other fish I wanted to add to the tank, but I never went through with anything. And I just haven't been making content about this aquarium, which is kind of sad to me because I absolutely love it. And it's just like such a cool tank and it was such a dream of mine to be able to have a tank like that. But I finally got a moment and I was like, I want to get fish for this tank finally. Like I want to get new fish to put in there. And I've been researching and trying to figure out what I want to put in there because there's obviously just so many different possibilities. They're endless. And I came to the conclusion that I want to try adding angelfish. Angelfish are known to be a little bit aggressive, so the things that you can keep with angelfish are limited. And this is something that I did look into, and I do have cardinal tetras, which people have mixed opinions on whether or not angelfish can be kept with cardinal tetras. They absolutely can't be kept with neon tetras because neon tetras are small enough that once the angelfish are bigger, they're just going to eat the neon tetras. But cardinal tetras are a little bit bigger than neon tetras. So some people actually do have success with keeping angelfish and cardinal tetras together. And as far as the research that I've done, a lot of people have basically said that if you have the cardinal tetras in the tank already, and then you add the angelfish in later on, and the angelfish are small, and they kind of grow up with the cardinal fish in the tank, then a lot of the time you won't really have much aggression issues because the angelfish will kind of see the cardinal tetras as tank mates. And I've just seen a lot of people in forums say that they have successfully done it. So it is something that I wanted to try to do. And if it comes down to it, I might have to just separate them or maybe I'll just have to get rid of either the cardinal tetras or the angelfish and I'll just have to try something else if I end up having issues later on. I thought it would be really cool if I could try to make it work. So basically today we're gonna go and get some angelfish for my aquarium. Hopefully everything will work out well. I'm gonna go to the fish store though and we're gonna pick out some angelfish and then we get to add them to the tank. I'm currently acclimating the new angelfish to the new tank, so I am doing a drip acclimation method as opposed to doing the floating the bag in the water method. So I have a piece of airline tubing going in the tank, then down to this little container, which is just in a bucket, so if it overflowed for some reason, it wouldn't go on the floor. So I just have like a knot tied in the tubing so that the water will slowly drip into the container. And this is just going to acclimate the fish to the new tank water. And it not only acclimates them to the temperature, 
Let's see, I'm trying to film here. Hey, can, can you be quiet for two seconds, please? Okay, thanks. Anyways, I just prefer the drip acclimation method over the floating the bag method because when you float the bag in the tank, it only acclimates them to the temperature of the water, but the drip acclimation method acclimates them to the temperature and the new water parameters. It might not always be necessary to do the drip acclimation method if you're not adding really sensitive fish. I just like to be extra cautious. Okay, I'll see you guys when Gypsy's quiet and when the fish are ready to be added. All right, so the angelfish are all acclimated and I added them into the tank. So let's go check it out. <laughs> Just Gizmo screaming in the background. We love it. And now Gypsy mimicking Gizmo. Okay. So I got a few of the koi angelfish, and then I got just a couple that are like black, like that one. They're so pretty. I love them. So yeah, there's that one. There's that one. You're really pretty too. And there's this one in the front. Oh, he looks so dumb. Hi. You're so cute. And then there's this one in the back. It looks like he's blushing. And then there's these two on the side. I love them, and I think that they'll make really good additions to this tank. Hopefully they won't massacre my cardinal fish later on, but I guess we'll see. I'm just going to go ahead and put some food in there. Oh, you missed it. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video, and... Finally got to see me add some new fish to this tank. Maybe I'll add plants and like rescape this a little bit sometime later on, but I'm just so in love with this tank. And if there's anything else you guys suggest I do to make it even better, I'm definitely open to any suggestions. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. As always, if you guys are new here, make sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications. And make sure to check out all my other social media links, which will be down in the description below. And I will see you guys in my next video. And so will Nova. Nova, what are you doing? Oh my god. You're so weird looking. Yup. Oh, such a good girl. Oh, such a good girl.